Hello, my name's Hayley Brown and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this salad table. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but where you buy a bag of salad and within a couple of days it's gone off inside your fridge. But with this, it's absolutely perfect. You can have it outside of your house and go from your kitchen to the salad table and pick whatever you like for dinner and it's going to be super fresh. Now, the other benefit about this is that slugs and snails are always trying to munch on my lettuces. However, because this is raised up off the floor, they have no chance of getting to it. So yeah, this is a great solution for a small garden. So we're gonna make this bed 1.2 long by 60 centimeters, but you can do absolutely anything you want to fit the space that you have in your garden or balcony. So first of all, I'm gonna cut two lengths at 1.2 meters. So we've got our four lengths of 60 centimetres and our two lengths of 1.2 metres and now we're going to construct that all together. So I've added in these central supports here that are evenly spaced and then we're going to go in with something to retain all the soil. So first up we've got this mosquito net in and that is going to be perfect for holding it all in place. And then we're going to add a layer of the chicken wire which is going to be great for retaining the weight of the soil. And that is the frame finished. So we've secured the mosquito netting down with some felt nails, and then we've put the chicken wire on top and used some screws and washers, and that is all fixed in place. Next, I'm gonna be adding some legs to this. So I'm gonna be doing these at 90 centimeters, but you can cut them to whatever length you want for the best working height for you. I have cut some braces here and they are exactly the same length as the lettuce table. So I'm just gonna measure down and make sure that everything's level. And that is it. So I have turned the lettuce bed the right way up and I've filled it with soil. So you want to fill it with a good quality multi-purpose compost. So the size I've made this planter fits two bags of compost, which is 100 litres. So that's all you're going to need for this. And now you just need some plants or some seeds. These are plants that I've sown in modules earlier in the year and that's going to provide me with some lovely fresh greens. Um, so in here I've got Lolo Rosso which is a lovely lettuce and then I've got some mustard greens here and some rocket too and that's going to give a lovely fiery kick to whatever dish you add them to. I'm also going to sow some directly into this bed now so I'm just going to make a little trough with my hand, grab your seeds and sprinkle them in. These will need thinning out, but as you thin them out, you can eat them as well. 
to keep your plants in tip-top condition, you just need to make sure that they're watered regularly. So I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please do subscribe. If you've got any questions about the tools, do go online at silverlinetools.com.